really coming through. Coming through today. <laughs> hey, happy new year. Welcome to this fine edition, the first this year of Real Talk Real Estate. Uh, we're so happy to be here in the studio. 2024. 2024. Yes. Sounds like a 2024 problem, if you now, ask me. Now it's yeah. 2024, so yeah. it's now oh. your problem. Now it is now, now my it's our problem. problem. Yeah. Yep. Now we got to do work. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It's time to bring the work. Soar in 2024. Is that your? Oh. That's what you're going. No, I for? have a. I have a few. Do you want me to give you my little my mm. list that are oh. options for our, our vision board? Motivate me. Um, our vision yeah. board titles for 2024. This is. Yeah, what these are my favorites right now. Shine and explore in 2024. Oh. Thrive and restore in 2024. Inspire and restore in 2024. Or grace and adore in 2024. I, ha I haven't narrowed it down to the top one yet. Mm. If you feel like stealing one for your vision board, feel free. You can use it. I'm not going to be mad. Copyright yeah. free. Copyright yeah. free. Copy and Loyalty paste. Loyalty free. Copy Make and it. paste, homies. Make You're welcome. You. Yep. Make yep. it you. I, I don't know if enough people do vision boards. I don't, I don't, I mean, just on that subject for a second. I don't Let's know. Let's talk about people, it. Yeah. Like, like, what do you, what do you put on your vision board, Shannon and Chris? Um, every year it's a little bit different. For the most part, we've been focusing on, of course, business goals. We have family goals, and then individually we set we set goals. So things that we want to do, places we want to visit, um, uh, goals that we want to accomplish. So in coaching five, six years ago, one of the things that I learned how to do was create a vision board. And it was very, very motivational for me. It was very inspiring. It helped me to... Um, get Chris involved in our goals. And then what one of the biggest things I took away from that is a goal is just a wish until you write it down. I love that. Until you write it yeah. down, it That's means true. nothing. You're just you're just blowing air um, out yeah. into the universe or the what's the dandelion thing where you make a wish and you blow it. Yeah. Um, you're literally just you're just blowing air. So until you take yeah. pen to paper and write it down, and we, I mean, we always have lofty goals. I want to pay off my house. I want to pay off the truck. I want to build a garage outside. I want Chris's truck to get fixed. I have a lot of things that we want to accomplish um, year over year. And I'm not going to, my, my, I might not cross all those things off, but I, I will make a dent in each and everything, one, one of the things that I want to do. So that's, that's how I structure it. Yeah. I mean, mine, mine are a little bit different. Um, you know, mine is like the number of concerts I want to see the you know what i want to do in in sales how many people i want to help what's the you know like one of mine that i keep on there every year is my a1c for my diabetes and you know it, it was on my board for i don't know four years of where i wanted to be and i finally had to get a coach in order to say if i want this you know this dream to come you know to fruition i've got to actually do some work on it and find somebody that can help me so were you able to accomplish that number that you were looking for or what's, what's it. the, yeah, I'm killing and you're it. killing yeah. it. Yeah. Nice. So, um, it just took that little bit of coaching, um, well, a year of coaching, uh, to get it to where it was just tweaking. Like it was little tweaks, just, you know, tracking some of my food better and things like that. But that's typically, you know, what, um, our vision boards look like is that's what mine looks like. Uh, I love it. You know, like how many days do I want to snowboard? How many days, um, you know, do I want to take off to go fish or go do something else? Uh, I have to be very meticulous about that or I won't take the days off. Right. And, uh, you know, so, and like Carrie's part of that of where, where do we want to go see like shows at, like, what are the, like, what are the things that we have for our house? Um, back in COVID times, our board had, you know, remodeled the whole main floor, get rid of the kitchen and fix all that. And when COVID happened, I was like, baby, it's on the list. You can't be mad. Yep. And uh, I demoed the house while she was taking care of COVID patients, which in hindsight, probably not my best decision. Well, your uh, house got renovated, so that's a win. Yeah. It was just yeah. the timing might not have been great. Yeah. 23 days. Yep. So, well, nice yeah. job with that. And and we're hosting a vision board party for the first time. Oh, Typically, yeah. my goal is to have it done before 20, you know, the, the, the new year. But we've just been busy, so... I'm not too up terribly upset that it won't, you know, I've, I've tried to start it the last couple of days, but we just haven't had the chance to, cause I want to be able to help everybody that's doing their vision board on Saturday when yeah. we're, they're here. So our goal was to try to get ours done before, 
Um, I've just got my little running list in my handwriting expert here to my right. How much are you charging per letter? On, $25 a letter. On Saturday, $25 just per letter, per letter like yep, like to it. be able to help write on your board. So those of you that are coming, bring some cash money or your Vemno or a checkbook. Just- Mine looks like a, you know, mine looks like a serial killer writing on mine, so I don't care. Yeah, you don't even care. Hey, and however yeah. you choose to do it is fine. Yeah. Yep. You know, whatever yeah. you like. Yep. So like, stay tuned for that. It's going to be fun. I'm excited. Yeah. You know, I I love what you said about, um, you know, if it's just a wish until you put it on paper, because, you know, getting involved in the in the process, um, it's there's there's just a lot to it that I really um, that I really enjoy. I enjoy the process of doing it and actually visualizing my goals. I enjoy placing it in a, in a place, um, where I, I enjoy placing it in a place where I can see it every day. So I'm reminded of those goals. Um, it's, it's just really, it's nice to do that. And, and that's the main, you know, I, I think that we've, we've been able to actually accomplish a lot more of those goals since we've started doing it. Um, instead of just accomplishing things, or at least, at least we've been able to um, record that and to um, to focus on on what it is that is important, and um, yeah, it's it's really a good process. And it, this I, year, I love yeah, it. this I year love too, it. we're adding um, a word of the year too to like focus sure. on. And I hear that if you add a word to focus on, that word shows up in your life pretty consistently. So restore, manifest, gratitude, intentional, like whatever your word is that you want to try to draw good words, draw attention to in your life. I, I just love that kind of value add. Yeah, that's cool. Well, I think it also aligns us to be like going towards your goal, right? Like it's, right. you know, you're, it's not a hope and pray. Like I don't, I'm not a big fan of hope and pray. Like I like to have it mapped right. out and, you know, it makes it so that when you're working towards your goal, you're like, boom, I'm on my next thing. I know what yep. I've done. I've, I can enjoy this time. I can enjoy this experience. And that's why I think the personal experiences um, are so huge in mine is sometimes I don't enjoy the win. I just like, I'm working so hard at the goal that I have to put in personal things to help me see like there's more important things in life than work. I love right? it. I love it. Speaking of goals, who have we helped with their goals recently? Anybody? A lot of people. We've helped a lot of people over the end of the year. Um, Over on Grand Avenue in Glenwood Springs, we sold the big daddy. Stephanie and Brian did. Uh, Great great commercial property is officially off the market, but we do still have three units for sale up there. Yep. Yep. So uh, Stephanie and Peter are cranking up in the um, mountains if – if you know anybody that's looking to buy, sell, or invest up in that that part of the world, we have people to help you. Um, and nice job, Brian, for um, being co-listing on that one. Yeah, no, it's awesome. It's it's a great commercial project. So um, it's it's uh, it's in a great part of Glenwood Springs, you know, heart of the heart of the town. Uh, it's it's fantastic. So like you know, attorneys might be looking at it. You might see um, other doctors' offices, things like that, that are trying to jump into that space. Yeah. Um, you know, the remaining ones have, you know, parking, things like that. So it's awesome. Awesome. So. Well, if you have questions on that, guys, make sure you reach out to us. We still have uh, our listing downtown Denver for sale on Dahlia, a yep. cute two bedroom, two bath uh, unit located right in the heart of Denver. So if you want to schedule a showing or if you know anybody that's looking, send yep. them our way. We Especially have a couple. Yeah. People from, you know, if, you're, if they're working or have family at uh, Rose Medical Center, uh, it's, it's walking distance. Uh, there's Incredible. tons of shopping. There's tons of, like movie theaters. There's, I mean, there's so much to do, but like Rose is kind of the, the, the big, um, employer around that area. So it's great. Awesome. Awesome. And then we helped our good friends, uh, Kyle and Nicola and little Emma with getting a new house as well. End of the year, which they were so super excited and they're, they're busy hustling and getting, getting situated in the new house and unpacked and, Um, hanging TVs on the wall. And Chris went over today to help bring some last minute things over. So Chris has been really helpful. He was also helping them load the truck, which was pretty funny to have, you know, all these guys come over and Chris is um, figuring out the jigsaw puzzle. So not only can he like cut down a tree, help you buy a house, build you, build you a great pizza, make you a badass cup of coffee. He can load your moving truck. I don't think he signs up for that one very often, but he did. (laughs) 
And don't um, forget about Chef of a Blackstone. Oh yeah, the the Blackstone yeah, yeah. Griddle connoisseur. Yeah, it's been yeah. a minute since we we've, we've really done anything on the Blackstone. What did we do on the Blackstone well, recently? Bacon and eggs and stuff. I, we did. I use it at least three times a week. Yeah, we did. So. We yeah. did breakfast when Granny J was here on it, and it's always the best. So yeah. Um, that I don't even have to go show it, Brian. What's this one? What oh, did you do? Cracked binding. Cracked uh, binding. My, that's my binding that snapped off on my seventh day in a row of snowboarding last week, and uh, this is my backup binding. Did you send it so, back, or do you? I mean, there's just nothing you can do. Uh, no, Rome is uh sending me. They said a new uh, which I don't. They said a new base plate, which I'm hoping is not the disc. The disc is the only thing that didn't break on this binding. So, uh, oh. yeah. Caused a little uh, headache in my life. Um, oh my gosh! So. Was this the day? Was this the day when no, you and Haley was, did it? That was on. Uh, that was New Year's Day. On New Year's. Uh, was it New Year's Day? Uh, I don't know. Is you guys went? You guys been, went no, up on Christmas was, Day? That was or? Christmas Day. That was Christmas yeah. Day. It was four below zero. Uh, it we looks a little chilly. chilly. You have yeah. um, some There's like icicles, icicles your on your stash, yeah. <laughs> dude. Yeah. yeah. And then what'd you do to your rib? That's what happened from my sweet binding breaking was. Uh, Binding breaking a, equals broken rib. Took a took a rib with it. Yeah, my seventh rib broke. So, oh my gosh, are you feeling better? Yeah, I'm not feeling worse. Well, I mean, as long know, as I don't sneeze, I'm fine. Don't you're sneeze. so you're so crushing it. Are you going up this weekend, or what's your plan? No, I'm out. I'm out for uh, three weeks. Oh, oh, good. So now we can we can we can get some business done. I'm doing business. Hey, I've been coming down working on. I worked over uh, the whole time screwing around so i know i'm just giving you, you know. a hard time God. i'm giving you a hard time so um did you guys know that i'm officially considered uh what is called a sweeper hmm. did you I know did that know. well actually i do know that because you got me hooked up on all this stupid stuff yeah um i won at least three sweepstakes this year my last one being a sweet um tickets two sweet box tickets to the denver broncos game on new year's eve which i'm sorry was incredible um, that was our seats. Really, really <laughs> good a, seats. We were, game yeah, we were in a catered, oh, we were in a sweet. catered Budweiser box, so it was really um, yes, interesting yes. to have Chris drink a Budweiser. Um, I got to meet Elvis. Elvis was in the building, which was fun, and um, we had a really great time. Shout out to Grandma Judy for helping me with the girls on Christmas. It was or, last minute. Yeah, New Year's Eve. Plans. Excuse me. We had changed some plans and regrouped so mm -hmm. we could go to the game. But it was it was worth it, it was absolutely fun. worth it. So the Denver Broncos were calling me on Thursday, the day before New Year's Eve, and I've never had the Denver Broncos call. So if they ever call you, I just suggest you answer that call. You I don't know. Answer that. Good you time to answer it. I'm yeah, in. I'm in. Yeah, like absolutely. It. So and we had a great time. It was nice that Shannon got to go because usually on those excursions, one of us is with the kids. So yeah, it was um, perfect. Grandma Judy came through and helped us out. Came through was, in the clutch, yeah. Which was kick ass. And we ran into our friend BJ, so that was fun too. We yeah. were in the parking lot. We got to see our good friend BJ and hang yeah. out with him for a little bit. Yeah, that was good. And yeah. he was texting me and asking how the um, sweet box food and drinks and stuff were. And I was like, well, it's excellent. It's very warm in here. Yeah. <laughs> like, it was he great. Was, uh, so He's doing great too. So, I mean, uh, he used to be with us. Um, he's doing great. Like, yep. love the fact that uh, he's out there killing it. And so. Yep, very successful right now. So. Yep. Um, I wouldn't expect anything less, so I'm happy for him and his family. So Absolutely. be on the lookout for yeah. all the good word over there too. But yep. let's let's talk about real estate. What's what's oh, going on in yeah. the lovely world of real estate that is firing you up right now? Anything exciting about interest rates? Um, they're kind of staying steady. I mean, they went down a little uh, bit over Christmas, and then I saw today that the yeah. Fed isn't going to do anything for a little while because of. Yeah. X, Y, and Z, which you'd be able to explain a hell of a lot better than I can, but I did read yeah. that. But rates rates have dropped. I mean, that's that's the big piece. Ten percent. Um, that's a huge drop on rates over the last forty five to sixty days. Uh, unemployment numbers came out today. You know, and unemployment numbers uh, are mixed. It's a mis mixed message on that. There's a there's a post on uh, that NAR sent out and the uh, the Economist sent out uh, on it, but realistically there's just you know less less jobs were created in december which is not surprising uh but then you know the big piece is they may have to increase yields on bonds in order to get you know to get inflationary numbers because they did trickle back up over the last month so uh something to be aware of keep an eye on um we're still seeing a ton of rate buy down options especially from uh from sellers so they're offering incentives so you know right now 
uh, we were just with a with one of our buyers, and their rate down rate buy down option on a three uh, three two one would allow them to get into the threes for that first year, fours for the second year, um, and into fives for the third year. And hopefully, in that time, you can refinance. Uh, but those are all pieces that are on the table right now, and that's actually was pretty in, inexpensive for the seller who was offering the incentive. So more to come on that if people have questions about it, you know, call us, reach out to us. There's a ton of information we can share about it. Well, on top of that, to piggyback that this this week, I was um, tasked with three market analysis is for our friends and clients and um, past clients and future clients, of course, and on our, I did a quick and dirty for a showing Chris did too. So on, on that, on the market analysis that I've been working on, every property that has sold out of the, you know, the 10 or 12 comps that I pulled had concessions, every single one. And they were ranging from, of course, the, lo- the lower end of 2000, all the way up to 18, 18,000, which tells me that that particular buyer got their closing costs paid and they got their um, rate buy down included on the purchase of that home. So there's a lot of really great opportunities out there for you. Um, and as we say in real estate, the best time to re- buy real estate is five years ago. Nobody yeah. ever says, you know, I regret buying my house when I bought it. They always said I should have done it years ago. So that's at least a consensus um, that we experienced. So that I thought was really interesting this week, just making sure I'm watching the market, which we always do, but pulling those comps and seeing 12 of the 12 properties that were sold for those three different areas all had concessions. So they're out there floating around. Across the board. I mean, I don't, I haven't seen anywhere where they're like, and even some of the recent comps that we've seen uh, for some of the market analysis we're doing here in Denver, there's, it's been across the board, um, similar, like probably nine out of 10, right? Yeah, that's a lot. There's probably, there's probably the one anomaly that's like, oh, you know, it was underpriced and, you know, they had multiple offers, but, um, that's probably the anomaly, uh, not the, not the real, uh, number. Like that would be a total outlier, but the other part, you know, like, you know, for people that are looking for rental income, you know, or trying to subsidize some of their, like what's happening in their lives, the, when the Fed changed the rules, especially on multifamily homes, you used to have to, if you moved into a multifamily home and let's say it was a three, uh, a three, uh, threeplex or a, a duplex, you had to put 20% down and you could use, you could use the other units to qualify and you could also keep them as income, but now it's 5%. So you on multifamily, the, so on meaning, multi-family. so two units in one guys, three units in one, four units, yeah, four any one. more than one, um, unit per, per the property. So it's more yeah. than, more than two, essentially multifamily. You can have more yeah. than That's, two. That right there is, uh, you know, so if you're looking for something, you know, most people are looking for, uh, when they say, oh, I'd love to have a rental property right down the road. This is a built in rental property right in the first purchase and being able to put 5% down uh, is, is crazy um, compared to where it was years ago. Let me ask um, you this. Do you have to live in it or is that a non-owner, to, you, non-owner no, you occupancy? It. You got to live in it the first year. Um, that's a requirement. So you have to live in there for the first year. It has to be an owner occupant. Uh, that's a, that's part of the rules. Uh, so you live in one side. Typically what we see on something like that is someone moves into one side they renovate that side that they're living in, and then they swap the tenants, raise the rent, move into the one that needs to be renovated, again, fix it up, and then they can, you know, they can then take that property, um, have it refinanced, uh, get rid of the mortgage insurance, get rid of the other pieces, um, have a better number on it, and then go buy another property. Interesting. Uh, and then move into it, right? So you could have two rental properties at the end of year one. And moving into your, let's say, your dream house, um, and have two streams of income coming in right then and there. Speaking so, of mortgage insurance, I did a um, a quick and dirty market analysis for one of my family members right before Christmas, and they have mortgage insurance on their property because it was an FHA loan. Yep. 
And I told him that you probably could get rid of that because the market has, you know, increased in value. Your property has increased, increased in value so much since you purchased it, which they bought it in 2019. So right before the height of the, the market and for what they purchased it for and versus what I think it would be appraised at now. Um, I told them to go to their loan servicer and say, hey, can I get rid of my mortgage insurance? And they wouldn't do it without a refi. How Was there any workarounds on that? Um, some of them were previous. Uh, I think it was previous to 2017, maybe 2018. Uh, I'd have to ask a lender on that specifically. I don't remember the exact time frame, but yep. anything previous to that, yes, um, you could you could. So the rules changed after 2019 or something. Yeah, it it might've been 2017, but uh, yeah, they want you to refinance it. So uh, their rate was like 2.25 or something. He was not, there's no way he's refinancing it. Yeah. So whatever the mortgage insurance, that's why they, when they added the mortgage insurance, it was after the whole economy collapsed because of what the housing market had done. Yep. A lot of the shady stuff that happened with, uh, you know, with the, with giving people homes that just had pulses, didn't matter if they had a job. Uh, there was a, there were a bunch of other pieces in it, but the mortgage insurance was one of those pieces that came into play that never goes away on an FHA. Interesting. Um, and then you do have to refinance it. So like going into a conventional loan, uh, that would be part of that. So, okay. Um, but that's but that's what I'm saying. Like if you did that even on an FHA with a multifamily when you renovate the property, raise the rent, that's going to improve the valuation of that property. Gotcha. And that's going to help you rent. You're going to be able to uh, use the equity that you've put into it as that 20% down, right? And then you'll get rid of your mortgage insurance. You'll go to a conventional loan, all that fun stuff. Great. Yeah. What do you think? I think that's lame that they won't knock the property insurance or the mortgage insurance off. Well, that's what I said too. But yeah. I mean, what are you going to do when they have their own lending regulations? Yeah, they signed something that, yeah. that says yeah. that or whatever. Um, but man, that's that's some baloney. Some baloney. Yeah. Well, it, but theoretically, at that time, right? You know, you're they were still offering really low rates. Um, I don't know what their mortgage insurance is on a monthly basis, but well, yeah, it was no like one seventy. It, it was like one seventy seven or something. I saw yeah. that. So, so if they refinance to a conventional loan with twenty percent, let's say that's the number, right, that they had um, at a six percent interest rate, uh, they would probably be paying more. Yeah, yeah. it didn't make sense. Uh, that's no, for that sure. Yeah. That's yeah. for sure. So. Yeah, the two percent. Like, but a great option for them is an assumption. You know, because FHA, um, VA, you can do an assumable loan, so they could sell their house with an assumable loan if that was something they wanted to do and cash okay. out. Yep, great, um, great so option. I love that. There's tons of other like you know that that is one of the perks of the FHA and VA loans is those are assumable loans and those are super desirable, especially to people right now that want a two and three percent interest rate. Right now. Does that take a little bit more time? Yes. Uh, 60 to 90 days to close is typically what that would take. So it's just, it's just hoop jumping though. We just jump through yeah. hoops on that and you, yeah. you have to follow yeah, yeah, yeah. the process and the guidelines. Yeah. So we've yeah. done it, you know, that's, it that's the good news. Days. Yeah. You get, it takes 30 days to get, you know, your file fully completed and get to a processor. And then typically it's about 30 days from there. Um, but sometimes that process can take 45 days. So just, you know, just be aware of that. It's not faster. It's just, um, but if I could get a rate at 2% instead of 6%, that's amazing. That's a great deal. Right? Jump on that. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah. So, um, but yeah. And then, you know, the other big pieces are uh, builders. You know, we have seen, and, you know, you just showed um, what your last closing was, you know, last week. Uh, the builder incentives right now are absolutely ludicrous. So, you know, what they're offering, what they're offering to do, what they're throwing in as far as packaging. They, they were offering a whole that. lot more before the end of the year, but they're yep. still, they're yep. still out there. Don't get it twisted. Yep. They just wanted to get some in right before the end of the year. So yeah, they wanted off those were, books. those were yep. some extreme, uh, rebates that were great. Yeah. I mean, yeah. We were getting, we were getting like some stuff that, that just generally washer with the new build, and dryer, yeah, new fridge, fridge yeah. fence built, landscaping. Yeah. yeah. Like, uh, all so, yeah. kinds of 
this, that, and the other. They were definitely um, prices right. They're willing to work with us. Yeah, prices is right, sure. Bob. Yeah, well, so. and they're getting the rates down. I mean, that's that's well, their number one. They're they're getting those rates down. They, and let's be um, real, it's not not all of them because we had been through other builders who yeah, actually did the quite opposite, and they they advertised a huge rebate, but then yeah. um, it wasn't what they had said. So. Just another reason yeah. to have your favorite broker with you when you're out shopping. I was just telling you don't, this to a You don't know the questions to ask yeah. you guys. And yeah. if, you know, once you're already in and you're already you're already locked into a contract, we can't help you. Yeah, That's the hard part about that, you know. Yeah. yeah. And, you have to tap out. And it's, it's really, it's kind of one of those things that if you know, you know you should do it with a broker. Yeah. You know you should have somebody to represent your interests and what, you know, to always look out for you. Um, especially when going into a contract with the person who's building your home. So you, you essentially are going into it, you know, trusting that the other side is going to do everything correct. And they might, but yeah. I would rather have somebody look out for my... Who, who does builder contracts uh, look out for? Uh, the builder contracts are definitely yeah. favorable to the builder. Do they tell you that when you're signing it? No, definitely not. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. 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 yeah they, they're not using... Uh, the Dora normal, approved. The Dora approved. Oh, they are 52 pages, and yeah. you usually have two of them versus our contract yeah. to buy, which is maybe 14, 14 and, to yeah. 16. And the jargon is thick. <laughs> oh, yeah. Just, yeah. You really have to be like, okay. Did I really just say that? Yeah. 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 So it's so. it's always it's always a good idea and and typically you know I don't know if there's been situations where a builder doesn't pay our fee it probably has happened where it's been um, minimal over the last you know course of the five years or whatever but typically the builder pays our fee and we yep. negotiate that in advance with them and we yep. share with you how that works ahead of time so right. there's always transparency involved from beginning to end when you decide to work with us so keep that in mind too. Hundred percent. I mean, there's, yeah. there's a lot of a lot of cool stuff that's going on in that stuff, but you know, but let's just let's have a conversation, right? You know, I mean, 2024. I know there's a lot of people that said, my my vision is to you know be in my own home, or I want to upsize, I want to I want to be closer to family, whatever it is. Let's have a conversation because, uh, like, let's talk about what what aligns with your goals. You know, do you sell your house? Do you keep your house? Um, if you're getting out of an apartment, how much time do we need to help you, you know, find a property, things like that. It just, there's, there's a lot of moving pieces and we want to make sure that you understand that we have a plan and we can help you with that. Hell yeah. I think that's great. So, Let's wrap it. Yeah. We're not over cool. our time. Yeah. Good talk today, guys. Yeah, good. Good that talk. Good. 24. Yep. Stay, stay tuned for our vision board. Take my, uh, thanks for joining us. No, I did not. Stay tuned for our vision board. Ta stay tuned for um, our trip to Casa Bonita coming Ooh, up. Yeah. Somebody's going to Casa Bonita. I'm not going to say who and or when or but whatever. they got two thumbs. Yep. It's <laughs> right over here. Yeah. You're coming with me. Three Three fourths <laughs> of our group. Or is it? Yeah. Who's one half of our group. One Who's half one half? Group. I'm I'm yeah. really great at math. Are you? Yeah. yeah. yeah we're uh, we'll just give it away. All three of us are going plus yeah. plus three more. I have a table yeah. for six. Yeah. yeah. You guys can Ooh. figure out. Don't put out. that on blast. Yeah. You you can't yeah. come because I only have six. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry guys, I Sorry. got the yeah. golden ticket. But I'm, if I get another golden ticket, I might I might yeah. just scalp I'm still them. Probably not gonna come. I might scalp I'm trying, them. <laughs> I'm trying to get my. I'm still waiting for my golden ticket. Soon. So, yeah, I got mine first. So, but I yeah. also registered before everybody else. So you maybe did. that has you something did. to do with it. So who knows? First day. Yeah. Can't wait. I'm gonna yeah. go. I'm gonna go take some pictures with Cartman. That's all. That's all that matters. Cartman. Yep. Yep. Day one. All, all absolutely. Right. All right. Yeah. Hell yeah, you guys. Right. Happy 2024. Have a great Bye. day. Bye, guys.